everybody, this is your girl, Miss P. Yes, you are seeing this correctly. I am on the Walter Latham channel. We're back, man. We're back. It is a new year. It's good to see y'all. Did you miss me? Did you miss the Varnell Hill show? Did you miss me? I have to talk about this Oscar controversy, honey. The Oscars are in February. And the Oscar Yankee candle goes to not no damn body. Well, not none of us. As a fan, I follow Jada Pinkett Smith on Facebook. And as a fellow Negro surrounding the ballot controversy, I said, oh shit, Jada got something to say. So I pressed play. Let me preface this by saying I love Jada. She in some of my favorite cult hood movie classics. Set it off. Now what? It's the procedure when there is a gun to your head. Vivica went out like a boss. Jada did get under that little sombrero and ride off to Mexico without Blair Underwood. Now that's mistake number one. Jason's lyric. Now what y'all do down by that bayou? Kingdom come. I forgive you, Junior. I forgive you. Low down dirty shame. Miss Peaches, on your way to the post office, can you pick me up some relaxer, girl? And this time, can you make sure it's mild? Because last time you got me super, girl. And all the other ones that y'all can remember. Fill in the blank. I'ma have to SMH on this one because, boo, you were just mad that your husband wasn't nominated. Mm. Y'all happy asses were perched at the Golden Globes just looking all fancy and buffed and facialized. I saw you. I seen you. Because he was nominated. We haven't been consistently nominated at the Oscars in not nah categories since the inception of this award show. Now, I'm gonna put an asterisk by that statement because maybe we have, but I ain't seen it. Now, girl, I see why you're upset, but girl, take them coins and go make your own shit. Now, Spike Lee, I love you, but you need to go on to the basketball game as you were and have several seats. You know good and damn well they were not gonna have you on the ballot. You too real, bro? No! Do the right thing. Christopher for rock you need to go ahead and get your check boo you are contractually obligated to host this event don't you be looking at none of us doing petitions and chat go ahead it's all gravy boo we ain't gonna put it against you everybody don't hate chris whoopee i see what you did on the view girl i peeped that but i mean you done got your oscar and ain't been worried since I just, <laughs> my award my yankee candle it's gonna go to you, First Aunt Viv, okay? It's gonna go to you, Janet Hubert. Why? Because you read them like an encyclopedia bit. The only Oscar I want is Maya with the mustard and relish. <laughs> Now, girl, sidebar, you know you still low-key mad about what had happened 20 years ago. You ain't got to tell us. It's written all over your face. I felt it. The energy. It was coming through the screen. I knew it. You still get my Yankee Candle Award. <laughs> yeah, I've used it, but it's okay. An honorable mention is going to go to Stacy Dash with your dumbass comments. BT, you're also going to get the Yankee Candle Award just for the clapbacks alone. I loved it. If you're not doing chat to help the cause and move everybody forward and want to progress, have several seats. Do your own and make your own thing. I so agree with Marlon Wayans. This is called the Oscars, not the Tyrones. What did you expect? I will admit, this is a very sensitive and touchy topic. Please note, you will not offend me. Get to typing. I would love to see your opinion down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully, I'll see you very, very soon. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye! Another one, babe. Another one.